Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Illinois Fighting Illini. Number three is a player who can handle playing under any pressure situation. He's a star player that we'll keep our eyes on tonight. He loves to use his superior foot speed to catch guys off guard, Brad. He may be young, but he's smart enough to know his strengths on offense. The Fighting Illini will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Fighting Illini are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. Number one, Make sure you get a hand up on every outside shot. Get a hand in their face. Second, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. And finally, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He makes it. Sinks both of them. Oh, what a hard screen there. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Number 31, pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Ball swatted. Player swatted as well. Up and inside. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from long range. Gets it to fall. Looking for a good shot. He rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from left of the circle. He's money with the shot. Close defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. They go into the low block. Down in the low block, trying to work the lane. He gets the bucket. Momentary look from three-point land. He does the sweet fake shot. 
Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Down inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the three ball. He drains the bucket. Now trying to feed the low block for the bucket. Finney is pretty fired up and excited. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. They're gonna move it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. They're working around the perimeter. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Trying to feed the low block. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The frustration right there. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Turns it over. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The power forward gets the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The kick out. The shooting guard takes the feed. Looking for a good shot. The shooting guard gets the ball. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He takes it away. And the fans here are loving the action. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Stolen away. They'll work it around the arc. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Up and inside. Working it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. There was no doubt about that one. Oh, what a strip, Rad. There it is, Jam City. They work it back to the outside. 
The small forward takes the pass. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. From three-point range. He lets it go. Scorches the net. The center with the ball. A whistle and a foul, and the coach not happy in the sideline. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. To the charity strike. Makes the first shot. Drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dribble gives it up. Great anticipation defensively. And he'll kick it back outside. He's got a nice shot fake. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He's open if he wants the shot. He attempts the trifecta. He hits it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Too much. That's a foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, there's a lot of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff can't seem to get anyone in sync. It's certainly not the game we anticipated seeing. In fact, some of these fans around me can't believe it either. On the dribble, gives it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. They work it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. Launches away. The fighting Illini have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. There's the pick. The fighting Illini have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. That's spacing. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Number 31 makes a great move to draw the foul.
He goes to the line for the first time. Misses the free one. It's good. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. Picks off the pass. Looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the outside. Intercepted. Two, perfectly executed. Nice fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Pope goes to the line for the first time. He buries it. It's two at the charity strike. But inside. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. Stolen away. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Second shot, no good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Double team now, bad angle. Dump it inside. Got a wide open look. Long distance, way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. Time to pick up the defense here now. Wide open for the shot. From way outside, Ohio State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Good 
Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Where? Pounded on his way up. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. There are many teams that will claim that their home court is the toughest place to play, but in all honesty, Illinois might be the toughest. Hey, their home record speaks volumes, Brad. That's one thing that they don't get much recognition for. Way out on top, controlling the ball, leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. There he is, strips the ball loose. Here we go on the break. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. For the bucket, perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there. Looking for the foul. Got to force the ball to one side for the double. He wasn't forced anywhere that time. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Here's a double team. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. In the paint. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. You've got that right, Brad. Number 34 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the dribble, gives it up. 
And Nick, this is just playing good defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. Good fake. There's the trap. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. With the bomb. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Fighting Illini trail by nine. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Beat up on the boards in the first half. They made no commitment, Brad, to fight for the loose ball. I bet the coaching staff is going to hammer on the notion of aggressively crashing the boards for the rest of the game. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focused player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I think you're going to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. There's a high screen. Trying to draw some contact. That's a 9-0 run. Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. Pressure that basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The Buckeyes have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. Now they work it around the perimeter. The crowd really blocks it. The ball goes out of bounds. For two, and off the mark. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Hendricks steps to the line for the first time. He hits it. Both free throws go. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. And he scores despite the hack. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Gave it up. From beyond the arc, it sticks. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Illinois are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they would keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Looking for a good shot. Fake. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. come with a double team to stop it. 
I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. With the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. He lets it fly. Way off target. Up and inside. Got a nice screen. Fakes it. For the bucket. And in and out. whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. There's the screen up on top. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Top of the circle. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Ohio State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Basket falls despite the contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'll work it around the arc. Got the high pick. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. The Buckeyes are ahead by 13. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. an open guy in the post and went the other way. And now they'll bring it up. From three-point land. Knocks it down. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Applying lots of pressure. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. <laughs> the 
Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Foul shot, no good. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble and act here and turns it over. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Jumps in. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. And a momentary look from three-point land. Here's the three ball. Drains it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. High post screen. Great play to take that to the basket. For three, he makes the shot. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. From three-point territory, these boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every place. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Pushing that basketball. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. The Buckeyes usually play a certain type of basketball. Physicality is the name of their game. They hit the weights for one reason, so they can outmuscle their opponent. Double team now, bad angle. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. On the outside. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Penetrates and kicks back. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Puts it up, looking for contact. He nails the bucket. Dumps it in. Picked off. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. He nails the trifecta. How about a replay, boys?
gets up to make the block. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Cross in the paint. They move it into the front court. Stolen ball. They push it up on the break. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Wow. On the outside. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. On the dribble. Gives it up. Looking for contact. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, perfectly executed. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He buries the shot. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Steals a pass. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The replay will give us a better look. goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you gotta protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. Didn't give it to him down low, going the other way. He throws it up from downtown, way off target. Illinois is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Jumped in front to take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. Too physical. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. To the line. Makes the shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. off the lazy pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Puts it up. Goes. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. 
Nick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. Dump it inside. Pull up jumper from way out. He hits the shot. Well, Dick, this game is all but over. Start the bus, baby. This one is over. The winning team can't relax. They're over there feeling good. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. the dribble gives it up on the outside intercepted in all alone for the bucket easy one <laughs> on the inside leans in he kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot Brad They'll work it around the arc. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Makes it. Pope handles the feed. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. In and out. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass for two. Perfectly executed. He launches a three. He gets that one to fall. Takes it off him. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He drains it. He shoots from long range. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He shoots from the baseline. Nice shot. Appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. On the outside, takes away the pass. High post screen, so effective that screen. Almost lost a basketball. 
Stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Illinois could not escape this blowout tonight. After